in, in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petition. Now know I that the Lord said his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but will we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fall, but we are risen and stand up upright. Say, Lord, let the king hear us when we call. I just read from Psalms 20. Amen. 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 Lord, thank you for another day, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for another Sunday, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for letting us travel to the city. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for those who are here, Lord. Yes. Bless them, Lord. Bless the ones who Bless want to be here because they make it, Lord. Bless the ones who are on their way, Lord. Bless the ship and shut in, Lord. Thank you for letting the kids make it to the yes. first full week of school, Lord. Yes. Be with them as they go to their second full week of school. Yes, Lord. And that if we want to service you after service, Lord, and that we praise your name, Lord, and that everyone has a wonderful day, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Baptist Church in Brownsville on next Sunday. And uh, he needs some of the church members and choir members to follow him down there to help celebrate their fifth church anniversary. The address is 2009 McFarland, right in front of, of the tag office. And he said, thank you dearly, Pastor Terrence Hamilton. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
blessed to be in the house of the Lord yes. this morning. Amen on this beautiful day. Um, I won't be before you long this morning. I'm just happy, and you know it. Sometimes our faith 
It may seem like it's small, but, but the word of God tells us that it, it, it don't require a whole lot of faith. Hey, somebody here with me this morning? He said a, a faith of the size of a, a, a mustard seed. Amen. Amen. All right. But each new day, we go through challenges. But each new day, they wrote that we are bothered about many, many issues in their day as well as today. But we go back to the same line yesterday, today, and forevermore. So at the same time, we're not going to have the same issue. We as children of God will be tested. Amen, young and older life, you will be tested. Amen? Issues, issues and more issues. Issues about our health, issues about our family, issues about our children, financial problems, prepare for this new school year, worried about the last year, Issue. Amen. Amen. All year long, with all the pressure that, that comes along with these issues. But when God wakes us up in the morning, we really don't know how, how the day is going to go. We really don't know how the day is going to go. But we wait with the certainty that God will make each day better than the day before. Amen. We look at the heaven this morning. Yeah. Better than the day before. Yeah. Yesterday may have been horrible. Mm -hmm. Maybe for some. I mean, everybody might not have no bad day, but it was good. Somebody had some good days. Any day for the ground is a good day. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. But today was faith in God. David assured God's children to rejoice in it. New day and new beginning. August is the eighth month. And the, and the number eight, it represents the number of new beginnings. Right. Amen. Amen. Anybody got some new stuff going on with them today? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. I keep it right back on the new school year. Uh -huh. Amen. We got to make sure that our babies are kept properly. And, and we got to talk to them and be in, involved in what they're doing and watch these telephones or whatever the new dads and gadgets that they have. Because they sleep. Believe me, they are sleep. Yeah. yeah, I don't mind. But anyway, yeah, we got to, we got to do it the new today. The things that didn't work last year when they was going to school, we can be more vigilant and pay more attention to today. So today will they pay. And God will be the glory. Amen. 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 New beginnings. From daycare, clean on up to college. New beginnings. Old and young. <laughs> Babes in Christ. And even our seasoned saints. We all have new beginnings today. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap and pray for this new beginning. Today is not how they were yesterday. But we are blessed through God's word. We're blessed through his word that through faith we can do all things. Through Jesus Christ who strengthens us. That's Philippians 4 13. Amen. Read your word. So it's a Bible scholars in here, ain't it? You have to, have to put the word back on the word and watch the word manifest. Amen. Put the word back on the word and watch God do his work. He's going to do his will because his will will be done. Amen. 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 Now, faith. We pray continue to pray to God. I'm saying to pray to God. But do we believe our God and uh, do we believe our prayer? All right. All right. All right. Amen. The two have to go together. Amen. Because when we pray to our God, we got to have faith. But we got to have faith in the God that we serve. And then we got to have faith in the prayer that we bring it up. And trust in him that he's going to do it in his way and in his time. Amen. 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 So God is faithful. Amen. Today you may have the encounter that blesses you beyond belief. If, if you've ever been sick, my God, and I know a whole lot to testify to that. If, you, if you've ever been sick or had a loved one, they were sick almost to the point that, that you just didn't know what to do. Sometimes we get to the point that we can't even pray for 
ourselves. Yes. Right. I mean, really, we just can't pray for ourselves. We're looking for somebody to pray for us. We can't have everybody to pray for us. 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 And they might be sending up your own something you don't want to send up. Amen? Let's keep it real until this point. Watch you have to pray for me. Yeah, yeah. Amen? Right. And y'all can need to let us forgive him today. Y'all yeah. can get a little bit to forgive others today a little bit more. Just a little, just a little tad more. Right. Yes. Yeah. But if you haven't been sick, you can testify this morning that God healed you and you're here today. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Knowing 
And trust in God that in all things you can say how I can how can I rejoice. But sometimes, let me go back, I'm sorry. Let me go back. Sometimes you might say, well, Melissa, how can I rejoice? And it feels like my world is turned upside down. My body is aching with pain. It feels like I don't have no help nowhere. I don't hope it's going How? How? How can I rejoice? I'm glad you asked me this morning. I'm glad you asked me. Just know. Just know that he said in his word that he would never leave us nor forsake us. He has stayed closer to you than any brother. Hallelujah this morning. Put praises before your problems. He sees everything we're facing. New day, new beginning. He sees everything we're facing, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Don't lose your joy. And don't lose the happiness that God gave you. That God gave us this morning. Hallelujah. Don't lose it because of the obstacles. But we must not stop. Say, boy, well, get you to the place that you come to a complete home. I'm stopping. I ain't doing nothing else. I don't care what they tell me to say. I ain't doing nothing else. I'm not preaching today. They really not call me, but in all of your heart, you know you want to sing, and you know you want to preach. Hey, man, hey, man. Yeah. We got to get out of self. And trust God. Because what God tells you to do, it, 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 it better be done. It better be done because you're going to wish you had it done. We must not stop being a servant, a humble servant at all times. It don't stop because you don't feel well, because it don't take nothing to send up a high hallelujah to the good Lord. Even when you see your head hurt, coming up out of a seizure, just, just lift your hands up and say, thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm so thankful today because I got a word from the Lord, and he told me, just rejoice. And he's going to take care of the rest, a new beginning. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because the devil wants to get you in your sick room. And he wants you to feel silent. But, 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 but I know my God don't play like that. Because when I was six years old, I was afflicted with epilepsy. My God. And, and this, this particular year right here, I've been on dialectic for over 50 some years. And they had to take me off of the dialectic to work on something else. And I'm like, Lord, I don't know. They called me back and forth. My neurologist called me back and forth. How is it going? But at the end, in the end, it didn't do nothing to life. But it got out of my system. And last week, I was taking one pill a day. And I had a double seizure in my sleep, y'all. A double seizure in my sleep. But, 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 but when I woke up, and they told us that, yeah, you had two. I said, what's the bad? They said, they all bad. I said, but well, praise be to God. Because he did. But he kept me. And that's why I'm here to thank you. I know you know what it means to be a life. Because there is something that he wants us to do for him. Trust him and believe him. Amen. God is good all the time. God has reminded us to rejoice in his name. He is all powerful and can do anything but fail. But remember, the word of God, the word of God, when God said to Abraham, is there anything? Is there anything? I'm saying one more thing. Is there anything too hard to know? Well, well, I know it's not. Not, not the God we serve. Hey, the God that made heaven and earth. Amen. Yeah. Amen. There's nothing too hard for him. Nothing too hard for him. God wants us to serve him happy. Persecutions may come. Well, the devil wants us to doubt God. Rejoice. Rejoice and protect us from the enemy. God is faithful and he will not let us be tempted. Beyond what we can bear. Like the old, like the old, like the old days they used to say, he won't put more of those on us than we can bear. But, there is a but behind it. When we are tempted, when we are tempted, when we are tempted, because we do get tempted. Yeah. My God, my God. All right. God always gives us a route to escape. 
Amen. But you got to be listening. You got to be wanting to escape. Yeah. Hey, that's what you really just said. No, each new day, when new begins, never think God has to say it. But today, rejoice in your pain. Rejoice in your sorrow. Yeah. Paul wrote to the Roman Christians and said that, be high, but we rejoice in our sufferings. Knowing suffering produces endurance. And endurance produces character. And character produces hope. But every day, children of God, for every day there is a new day and experience, a new opportunity, a new opportunity to start over, a new opportunity to go to God in prayer, a new opportunity to lean on the Lord, a new opportunity to bless your neighbor, a new opportunity to get your name right to your family, a new opportunity to go to the Lord, a new opportunity to go Oh, my God. 